Hi everyone, my name is Arturo Sprecaso. I am the host of this, your Sprecaso show. Before we begin, a uh, simple reminder, always wear your masks. Uh, if you guys spray paint as much as I do, you might want to invest in a spray paint mask that has filters on the side. Help protect your lungs, guys. Uh, let's see, today we're going to be using our regular colors of spray paint. We got our blue, green, red, white, where it is clear. An orange clear is very important, always have it handy. I know sometimes you guys don't see me use it, but I actually use it a lot. It keeps the painting moist. Um, planet stencils, I have three different sizes here. Remember, you guys can use cups, lids, bowls. Uh, make sure it has a sharp edge. You don't want anything that's bent. It usually removes away from the painting. Here I have my box of goodies, that's what I call it. <clears throat> here I have several spray castle tools. Some made out of wood. Which I really like a lot. Plastic. Uh, I even have some metal ones. Yeah, different effects, different techniques. We'll walk through those. Uh, I don't use the fire technique a lot, but I always keep a lighter. Uh, just in case I decide and I perform on public. Fire is used to, uh, to dry the painting quicker, but it also attracts people. I mean, you guys have seen the spray painters out there. And, you see fire, burst of fire, so, you know, it's, it's eye-catching. You know, I've gotten a lot of comments and questions, why do you guys use fire? It does help you uh, dry the painting quicker, that's, that's for sure. Uh, practice it before you use it, because even I've had uh, several accidents with that. Alright, <clears throat> today, we're going to use some more advanced painting. So, since we're going to be using more advanced techniques, I'm going to use foam board. This is what I use in my competitions, uh, in the art galleries, paintings that I sell. It's better quality, it's thicker, so it doesn't bend as easy. Uh, it's easier to frame, I believe. Uh, better quality. So, you can find this at Walmart, uh, Walgreens, pretty much anywhere. So, that's what we're going to be using today. So, if you guys are ready, grab your spray paints. Let's begin. Huh? All right, crew. You guys may remember this technique. Uh, we're going to be using sea uh, foam and the spray castle tool. And you guys remember this, right? From the last tutorial. We're going to create a dream catcher. Okay, well, you guys know the steps to that. I'm going to add some red, some blue, okay, maybe a little bit of green, just like so, a little bit of red again, perhaps a little bit of blue. Okay, so we should have some that looks like this. Pretty colorful, right? Now, out about here, I'm going to start adding some black. And you'll see what this is for. Just like so. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to start creating some fur. See, just like so. Now, you gotta keep in mind that even in fur, there is a pattern. So, try and imitate that pattern as best as you can. This time, I'm just gonna go downward. See, like so. Okay, you guys with me? May not look like much yet. But then again, most of our paintings, when we start, you spray painters know that people are usually very amazed the way they turn out because we work with layers. Okay, let's keep working on this pattern. By the time we're done, we should have a pattern. It's kind of going outward from the face out. See that? Just like that. Now, I made sure I left the ears, you know, uh, not so furry just the edges, I left them black. 
Now I'm going to add some white. And it's okay that it mixes with the black. In fact, we kind of want it to. So we'll make a nice little gray. See, just like so. And we'll go in there and add some gray highlights. Like so. Okay, we're going to do that throughout. See that? Okay, well, we're going to do that throughout using the grass technique. And quick strokes. That way, it looks like fur. I guess I'm going to go ahead and put her stencil down. I'm going to put some pressure on it. I'm going to color everything black. Just like so. Now, on the empty spots, I'd like to add some color. Okay? Now, with our spray castle tool, I'm going to go ahead and create the wooden part of our dream catcher. Nice. You guys see that? What it looks like so far. Okay. Now we're going to remove this and we're going to add our feathers and stuff. You guys remember how to create the feathers? Well, if you don't, it's very easy and I'll show you one real quick. I'm going to add a clear coat. And with the spray castle tool, I'm just going to come down, make a scratch, just like so. Using this part, I'm going to start scratching. See? Just like so. Back and forth. And you get those really cool colors that we added on the bottom layers. See that? So it's actually a pretty colorful feather. Lots more coming out from here. And one more like that. One more. Okay. And if you guys are ready, let's remove this and see what we have underneath. Let's take a look at it, huh? Let's see. We have our wooden frame, which is very typical in dream catchers. Uh, here in the southwestern, we have a lot of natives that create these. These are great pieces of art for those of you who have never heard of a dream catcher. So the little strings that hold the feathers. Let's take a look, a closer look at our feathers. See how colorful they are? Well, that's because of the colors that we put underneath. When we scratch it, it actually mixes into it, making those feathers pretty colorful. See that? Alright, well I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. It was a lot of fun creating it. And as always, keep those cans shaking. I'm Spray Castle. Hey everyone, Arturo Spray Castle here. Well, that concludes our show. Uh, I hope you guys had a good time. I definitely did. Hope you guys learned something new today. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for being here. After all, this is your show. Until next time, keep those cans shaking.